And welcome back to Archives of Fabella Daily, the podcast creating history of the magical world. Today is July 13th, equal to Cancer 23rd. Books are available on Amazon. Please rate and review the podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And hit that subscribe button for more great stories right in your feed. July 13th, 1913 is the day Serbian forces begin their siege of the Bulgarian city of Vidin. The siege is later called off when the war ends, but in the magical wonderland of Fabella, a pair of Bonnie and Clyde-like rebel burglars met their untimely ends. I'm Dylan Foley, and this is Archives of Fabella. Beyond our world, there is love. Beyond our world, there is war. Beyond our world, there is life. Beyond our world, there is Fabella. Cancer 23rd, 5913, FY, Fabella Year. Equal to July 13th, 1913 AD, Earth Year. By this point, the Bloodborne Empire has enforced tight restrictions on people of the world. The key tenets of the regime is that everyone must speak English. Second is that they must change their names to quote-unquote normal names. Whole families have had their identities ripped away. People who resist the empire are called dregs after the residue left behind when drinking tea. They were trash to the Imperials and treated like such. George Wentworth is a warden, that's what Fabella calls their policeman, in charge of enforcing imperial rule when he learns that a robbery has taken place at a local store. The robbers clothed themselves in unlawful drag uniforms during the robbery. Wentworth is called to investigate and quickly deduces the identities of the robbers in question are a pair of merfolk named Stella Pierce and Timothy Wallace. Meanwhile, Stella and Timothy find that they get such a high from the robbery that they decide to become Avengers in their own right. They decide to rob more Imperial businesses as a method of striking back at the Empire. They continue to strike people and businesses, helping the Bloodborne Empire retain its hold on the community. Wentworth is charged by his superiors to bring them down. The public hears about Stella and Timothy and is galvanized by their efforts, calling them heroes. Stella, in particular, becomes quite famous, much to Timothy's jealousy. Wentworth relentlessly hunts them down. Upset that Stella is getting most of the attention, Timothy sets her up to be captured by Wentworth so he can go solo. The setup goes terrible and leads to Timothy murdering a bystander. This is the first death the pair have had at their robberies, and it rocks them to their core. Wentworth arrives at the scene, and pursues Stella and Timothy on broomstick. Wardens corner the fleeing suspects. Stella and Timothy fight back with the little magic they know. In no time at all, the scene has exploded in a shootout. Timothy is shot, and dies in Stella's arms. Wentworth successfully arrests Stella and imprisons her. Stella goes down in history as one of the first rebels to fight back against the imperial regime. Her reputation grows so much that she is executed by Wand soon after her capture. The memory of Stella and Timothy creates numerous copycats, and Wentworth spends the rest of his career hunting them down. That's going to do it for us today. 
Subscribe now to get more new episodes right in your feed. Rate and review the podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Send your questions to archivesoffabella at gmail.com. Archives of Fabella is created, produced, and hosted by Dylan Foley, with music by Garrett Ferris and audio blocks. Books are available on Amazon, in ebook and paperback. As always, look outside of what is possible and think about what might be.